Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to discuss five things you need for your music career to blow up. Yes, I want to thank you for stopping by to watch this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the like button for me. Now let's get this started. Now I want to talk about five things that you most likely are going to need once your career starts blowing up to make it blow up even more. Now this is more directed to people with a budget, but I'll go over some alternative ways for people with less of a budget. Now first off, you will need a team around you. Now I'm not talking a humongous team, obviously it depends on your budget, but you want to start thinking about some management now. You want to start thinking about a publicist. Things like that. Possibly a road manager if you're touring constantly. You need things like that. If you don't have a big budget and you're still rocketing small, you could still have a manager. They could get a percentage of what you do or what you earn. And management does help. Just make sure it's someone good. Make sure it's just not like your cousin who doesn't know how to do anything in the music business. Make, make, make it someone who is smart, who has ideas, and, and even better, be associated with the music business already. But... It depends on your budget. Here's another thing you need and people don't realize. You need like a good graphic designer. Someone that could create your logo. Someone that could put stuff on your website that all like matches everything. Someone for your album covers. Someone to take care of all this stuff so you don't have to be the only one thinking about it. Because when you got other people involved, they can sketch up some things for you, present them to you, and you can choose. So it's better that way than just yourself trying to think of everything and you know you don't really know how to draw you don't know how to do this you're not that great at photography or whatever get someone who could take care of these needs again you'll need a budget if you don't have a budget you could go to fiverr.com it's f-i-v-e-r-r.com and they have people there that will do stuff for five bucks ten bucks they'll create a logo for you they'll, they'll do different things you, you, you just got to go to that site and search for people like graphic designers or things like that and people will pop up and they do them for fairly cheap so you can try that out if you have less of a budget but you need someone to really make your brand stand out your logo your website all that good stuff even like business cards letterhead all that good stuff it all counts now next if this is something for yourself and i mentioned it last video you need to start paying attention to data all the stuff that makes you popular you need to pay attention to. So you need to go to your distributor, whoever you have, whether it's TuneCore or even if you're on just SoundCloud or something, they all have stats of who's listening to your music and about where in the country or in the world even they are. You need this data because that way you can look and say, hey, I'm doing great in Cleveland, Ohio. Let's go do a show there, sell some merch, get more people around that area attracted and Hopefully they'll come to the show as well, and then you can go from there. You need this data to see who is buying my music, who is downloading, who is streaming my music exactly, what area of the world. Then try to get more radio play there. So it all helps, and this is for yourself. You need to start paying attention to all that stuff. Next, you need to also start paying attention to marketing. You need to get your music out there. And if you have a great budget, you need to start placing ads on Facebook, Snapchat, Start placing ads on Instagram of your music. You could put, um, that, okay, and this is also where data comes in. You can go look at your data, see who is, uh, where you're popular at, and then you can place targeted Facebook ads, Instagram ads to that area, saying when you have a show coming up in that area, or put an ad out for your merchandise and see just in that targeted area and see how it does. Things like all this combined with the, just knowing who's buying and downloading your music, who are your people, who are your fans, and market towards them. This is the information you need to start paying attention to and the info you need. Next up, once you start having a budget, you should definitely start looking into getting legal counsel. You need an entertainment lawyer eventually. This person can help you with your contracts, any kind of deal that goes on, because obviously you're not just going to be creating music and touring. Eventually you want to get more out of this. You want to start licensing your music. Maybe get a sponsor for your tour. All this comes together and a good entertainment lawyer can help you to make sure you're not getting screwed over. So once you start blowing up, once you get this money start coming in, you got a little bit of a budget, get a decent lawyer that you can afford and have them look over every contract so you're not getting screwed over. So all this basically comes together and it's important to pay attention and get the right people on your team. 
So, I hope you liked this quick video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Look in the description of this video. There are tons of things that can help your music career out, like discounts on services such as TuneCore, Bandzoogle, all that good stuff. There's literature you can read. There's eBooks you can download to gain more knowledge of the music industry. And I know it'll help you out. I appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you soon.